Hey, it's Jen here with another Tech Tips 411 on a resource that you might want to use with your students. Today we're going to be talking about whiteboard.chat. Whiteboard.chat. So this is a collaborative whiteboard that has some really cool tools that I think you're going to like and some neat features that are going to level up your virtual lessons with your students. Also, this is going to work well with students that have one-to-one -one devices so that you can work with them face-to-face -face, uh, and have them participate at their on their own device. So let's check it out. I'm going to show you some of the features that make this a really cool whiteboard tool. So one of the great things is that you can use it for teaching, monitoring, or coaching because you can have multiple participants on there and you as the teacher can work with them and you can see who's working in this whiteboard. In addition to that, you can use multiple devices and you can share and collaborate. So that means that it doesn't matter what device you're using. It could be a tablet, it could be a desktop, it could be a mobile device. You can access this because it is web-based. Definitely some things to point out that make this a powerful tool is obviously it's free to use and free is my absolute favorite price. You can connect up to 100 people to a board. So as much as I love Jamboard and you are limited to uh, 50 people in a Jamboard, uh, this tool lets you have uh, 100. In addition to that, you can export your boards as a PDF so you can save that as a record of what you're doing with your students. Again, Connecting multiple people and devices to the same board is a very powerful feature and you can observe uh, and work with students uh, and coach them in their individual boards. So let's go ahead and dive in. Okay, so let's click on this start drawing. So it's gonna ask you a couple of questions. What, uh, what would you like to do? Would you like to start collaborating? Would you like to start teaching? Would you like to manage some boards? So let's go ahead and just start teaching. Let's start with that one right here. What's great about this is that multiple individual boards are gonna be created for your participants. So we're gonna say start teaching. So I can go in here and you'll notice that I have a number of options. We can see that the toolbars over here, I've got some options for that refresh, if you wanna make any changes, I can save it, I can manage the boards, I can add grid lines if I need to, I can go back to home, I can clear what's going on on the board. I can, can download this. In addition to that, I can delete it. I can pause animations on it. That's kind of cool. I can select things. I can upload files. I can erase. Uh, I can add text. I can go to the toolbars and uh, go to the tools and notice I can add in these elements, line, circle, rectangle, brush, so forth. In addition to that, I can lasso and grab things in here, which is really cool. So. Uh, in the instructor view, um, I can go up here and I can choose to invite. So I'm in the instructor board here and I have a couple of options here. I can create a poll. So at this point, I can send a link to students, ask them uh, to fill out questions. Kind of cool. Send a link or send a poll as an option. Uh, in addition to that, here's where I can invite. So I'm going to say invite and I've got a QR code. So you can post that on your screen um, or in your classroom if you're face to face you can open uh, your email send it out or copy this url so if i copy this url i can share that out i've got a few other tools that i can use to monitor what's going on in my classroom here i can actually set a timer that's built into it so if i wanted to set a one minute timer that's going to be on here it's going to be on the screen that's going to be a cue for your students in addition to that, I can go over here and sign into my actual account. If I do that, I can sign in with Google and make sure that it saves what I'm working on. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. I'm going to choose my account that I want to use that. So notice now I'm signed in. I didn't have to sign in to use it and share out a link, but this allows me to now have my stuff captured. So, uh, so I can see that I'm in it. Uh, and what's great is I can change my name. So if I wanted to change this to say, there we go, I can do that. So that notice that on the board, that's what's going to show up with my name and I can even change my color, which is really cool. So I can change what my board looks like. In addition to that, that's going to be the color I appear on the board, which is really cool. So moving along here, we got a couple of options here. Let's take a look at settings. I can say that only logged in users can join a board. So if you want to make sure that you don't have anyone just joining that's not supposed to be in there, you could require that they have to log into their Google account in order to join your board, which is a good option too, just for safety and security. So it's very easy for you to share your board out. All you have to do is actually share the link. So it can be easily posted into your Google Classroom or in your Microsoft team to share it with your participants. So opened up that link and it's asked me to add my name, to set my name. And now notice I'm in, I'm in the board and it shows my name down here. I can go in and I can customize and change it. I'm in as a student. As you can see up here, it says student board because I'm participating in the board that was shared. Notice I can raise my hand. I'm actually going to uh, add some text. 
So now I've added that. I can also use uh, the drawing tool. So if I go up here, I can do a line, line, circle, brush. So if I go to brush, I can actually draw. So if I wanted to highlight that, notice it even connected it. Uh, I can go down here and I can change that if I wanted to erase one of these lines. There we go. Uh, I can do that. So I've got those basic tools that I might want to use to highlight and demonstrate my understanding or to point out something. So I'm going to hop back over here to the teacher one. Okay, so I'm in the teacher board here and if I wanted to, I could upload a, a file. Okay, that file does not have to just be an image. Notice I can upload a PDF, a TIFF or anything else. So I'm actually going to go here and I'm going to look for a PDF that I can upload. Here's a, here's a Tinkercad activity uh, that's PDF. It's just getting started with Tinkercad. So I just want to open that up. So here's what's great. It brings it in as a snapshot as a P and I now can go in and I can annotate and talk about that. And I can do the undo here and I can do the redo. So if I, if I wanted to point out that we're going to be talking about scale, and the ability to copy and paste. Notice I can do that. That's me in the teacher board. Let's hop over there and see what it looks like for the student. Notice it pushed it out into theirs that they have a copy of. So I can actually, okay, so I cleared off my annotations and it did not take away what's been pushed out from me as the teacher. So the student board doesn't change. So notice they have their own copy of it that they can actually manipulate and annotate and draw on but notice I've got uh, control of it. So I'm, I'm in this student view and I can see what my teacher's doing, which is great. But then also if I have questions or comments or anything that I want to annotate on here, I can do that without disrupting the master or instructor slide, which is really cool. So I'm hopping back over here to the teacher one and notice I can make any other changes. So if I wanted to go down here and I want to add some text right here, I could put some information here. Uh, I can resize this text box. Uh, and notice I can drop it right in there. And again, let's hop back over and see what it looks like for the student. Notice that's there. So this is a really great option is if you're trying to model for your students an activity and you're adding to that main slide, but then you want them to work independently on certain parts of it. This is a really powerful tool I think that you're going to want to use. So I just wanted to highlight this new tool in case you might want to give it a try. I just think it's really cool because each student gets their own copy of the board and it's monitored. But let's take a look at the dashboard so you can see what that looks like. So I'm in the instructor board. So if I go over here to this drop down, I can say, manage boards. And when I go into manage boards, I'm going to see here's one that's unsaved, but I can also see unsaved and the participants in this one are myself. And I'm going to now it's going to bring me into that board. I do want to point out that you'll notice here that once you create a board that the board only lasts for um, a, it looks like it's about a week. So, so notice it's going to expire, which means that this is obviously not meant to be something that's going to be kept forever. But what's great is that you can save your board once you've uh, created it and worked on an activity with your students. So if you did want to download this and save this, I do have that opportunity to go over here and I can say save it and I can give the board a name. So notice it's got a name to it. So these are ones that are unsaved that I was just working with. Uh, let's also just go here and if we wanted to, I could choose to download. And when I close download my board, what it's going to do is it's going to download it as a PDF. And when I do that, there we go. I'm going to open it up. You can see it's a PDF file. I can see those annotations which is really cool. As the instructor, you have the option to add multiple pages to your board. Uh, so I can actually have that activity on there and have uh, several board pages. So basically this could be a multi-step activity if you want to. So just pointing that out. Again, I do want to uh, reiterate the fact that the board is not saved indefinitely. It's really a good opportunity for you just to do a quick activity where you want to monitor multiple students and then save that as a PDF if you need to have a record of the activity. Again, what's great about it is the fact that you can monitor the students boards, the master board that you create, students are engaged in that. Anything you change on that instructor board will show up on theirs, but any notes or annotations they create will be on their own board. So they, uh, they have the ability to collaborate with you, but not manipulate and change the class board. There you go. That's whiteboard chat. It's a new tool. I think it's pretty cool. I'd love to hear, uh, how you use it. So give it a try. If you have any questions, um, let me know, leave uh, any comments in the chat and let me know if you found this ben uh, video beneficial. And also let me know if there's any other tips or tools or tricks that you'd like to hear about. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel so that you're notified uh, for future videos. And thanks so much for watching. Mm -hmm.